Cubs have lost the first game and they're out for blood in the second chapter of the 29th World Series. Play ball. Lefty Gomez sends one over the plate and Bill Herman smacks it out. A clean two-bagger inside the left foul line to start the fireworks and the Cubs' ambitions. Next man up is Woody English, and he flies out to Earl Combs in center field. And again, Gomez heaves a hot one to Kyler. On a fumble by Crosetti, Kiki reaches first, and Herman goes to third. Lefty shoots a fast one to old Haas Stephenson. A long, looping fly to Combs. Herman coming home after the catch. That's all the Cubs get, and the Yanks are up. Lon Warnicke is facing Earl Combs. The young Cubs a little wild, and he finally takes Combs for a walk as far as first base, with third baseman Joey Sewell up at bat next, and the babe waiting on deck to do his stuff. And the Chicago fans get a chill as Joey gets a base on the balls. Two in a row, and along comes Ruth. Boy, what a spot. The Bambino looks him over, long and carefully, and with a mighty blow, he strikes out with two men on base. Then, Larup and Lou Gehrig smacks a single that passes Grimm and lands out in right field, and Combs comes home with a tying run. Warnicke now pitching the catcher, Bill Dickey. Bill punches a smoking single to right, scoring Sewell, and that one ends the runs for the first inning. Score, Yanks two, Cubs one. Once more, Kyler tries to get on base, but he's out. Lazari to Gary, but old battleship Stevenson finds one and wraps it out to left field, going all the way to the second station before he stops. But then, old Goofy Gomez hands a red-hot single to Damari, and Stevie wastes no time, making tracks for home to tie the score. The Babe gets a quartet of balls in the Yanks' half of the third, and he's rewarded with a free ticket. And Mr. Warnicky gives Gehrig a sweet one, and Lou smashes a swell single that sends Ruth to second. How they love that one! Lazari's retired on the grounder. Ruth and Gehrig advance, and the fans go crazy as Ben Chapman pushes a soccer-roo to right field as Messrs. Ruth and Gehrig come home to give the Yankees four runs to the Cubs, too. There isn't much more to tell. The Yanks make another run on hits by Gehrig and Dickey, but it didn't matter much. After the double defeat, the Cubs left soon after for revenge in the old hometown on Lake Michigan. Meantime, it's a holiday in Yankeeville. The Cubs trail, the Yanks lead.